I created this N8N workflow where you can fill the Google form. It will add a new entry in the Google Sheet and then this workflow will trigger which going to search for what N8N workflow you actually want and then according to that it's going to filter out search on my Google Drive where I have the JSON file which you can use for your N8N workflow and then attach that to the email send the email just like this and finally going to update the sheet that hey email is sent all of these is just a any and automation so we are going to learn all of these things in this episode from scratch and before that if you have ever watched my video and if you like my content then go and subscribe to this channel if you have not done yet and please hit like to this button because AI is all around watching your activity can boost my video. So let's get started. So welcome to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and this video is all about Google Form automation using N8N to send the email with attachment. Okay, so first of all, we need to have a trigger. Now trigger is just going to thing which is going to start the workflow. So what actually we want whenever someone fill the form it update the Google sheet and whenever there is an update in a Google sheet it should trigger. So you can click here or hit tab just like this search for sheet and here comes the Google sheet and now we want the trigger. So see this is the first time we are doing then that's why it says it triggers. So when we want we want the trigger to be on row added. So this one we need to click and we have this nice form where we can set up our Google Sheet. So I can say Google Sheet trigger which is good. Now here you want to create the credentials. How you can create the credential if you don't have that then click on create new credential. Click on this open docs where it is explaining how you can get the new credentials for your Google account. Basically, what you need to do, you need to go to your console, enable the APIs which we are going to use like Google Sheet API, Gmail API, Google Drive API. All of these should be enabled, then create the credential, fill the credentials here and once you fill that, then it will going to authorize you by signing in. Once you complete that flow, then you will be able to use your Google Sheet. Okay, so when this is going to work, it's going to work every minute. Now, this means every minute is going to check for the new update on your Google Sheet. But which Google Sheet? So we don't have the Google Sheet right now. So let's go to the Google Form. Let's create the first Google Form and I'm going to call it test N8N, call the name as test N8N here I just want the name and the workflow you need and here comes the Google form so Google form remember the naming convention here is very important because same name we are going to use on the drive where we have the actual file as the attachment we are going to send so Google form dot JSON so here comes where is that yeah Google form I want to add another which is LinkedIn automation which I'm going to create the next video on. Once you have that let's go to the setting and make sure we want so collect the verified email this is really we want and I want the user to have multiple response because let's say on the first time you fill the form for the Google uh, form and second you fill the form for LinkedIn automation like that okay this is good but next what we want we want this Google form to link to a sheet so I'm going to create a new N8N test N8N sheet which is having a responses at the last so create that it is now linked and uh, you can see this is the link now in this sheet I want to add one more column which is going to say sent email whether we have sent the email or not okay this is going to be for the filtering out next let's get back to the n8 n and now if I click on document because it has the access of all my Google sheet 
If I click, it will search that first N810 automation. That's good. Now, from this N810 document, which sheet you want? So see, every Google Sheet has different, different sheets. So if I go here, you can see this is the sheet one. I can create sheet two also, which they are calling sheet one. <laughs> okay, so if I now go, it can provide me, but I think it's cached. Okay, anyways. So we want the form response one sheet. Now, on one, when this is going to trigger row added, whenever a new row added, it should trigger. Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do, once this is there, that means we have, let's say, someone filled the form and it is there, then we want to filter out by, if we have sent the email to that person or not. So how this is going to work, first of all, I'll go and say filter and here we need the value. But for that, we need to first run the trigger. So click on this, it's going to run the trigger. And since there is no response, it doesn't have anything. So let's try to fill the Google form. Before that, I need to publish it. Click on publish. Copy the URL, make it shorten, and now I'm going to fill the form. So I'm going to record this email, fill that Sarthak. I want Google form this time. I filled it, and now if I go here on this N8N, it should be there. What happened to this? Oh, yeah, <laughs> form response one. Now you can see this has one email. Send email column is empty, doesn't have anything. And now if I trigger this Google Sheet once again, it should give me the response like here. Yep, we have the timestamp, email, name, which and it and workflow you want and send email. Now if I go on the JSON, it has all the values. Similarly, I go here and now I filter out with send email. I want to say I want all the entries where send email is not equal to yes. You can name it anything done, yes, sent, whatever you want, it's just a trigger. Now, if I hit send, a trigger or test this step and we get this one because we only have one which is not at sent state. So let's say if I make it yes here, yes, yes here, and then again run, you can see, um, I need to run previous node once again and once it is fetched you can see it's yes and now if I trigger it should not give anything because filter out and there is no response other than that okay that's good now once we have this that means we have all the entries which haven't got the email then we want to loop through it because it could be there like we have two responses so let's say i gave another response i say sarthak but this time i want linkedin and automation cool so on the entry i have two responses so that means both response should get the respected file or n8 and automation json file for that i'm going to use the loop here so in this loop it's going to take one entry on single batch that means if I run it, it executed, but what we need, we need to replace this with whatever we want to do. So first of all, what we want, we want to send an email. Okay, so here I'm going to add Gmail and here send a message. Again, what you need to do, you need to go to the Google console, use the same API key, just enable the Gmail API on your um, Google console project and then you can add that as a new entry for Gmail account. Once again, if you don't know, you can just go to the guide here like this. It will tell you everything. Great. So let's get back here. And now I'm going to send a message. Operation is send to whom? So since I have the entry previously, I can run this loop, workflow executed. Something is not good here. 
okay so let me figure it out okay so here we have maybe i can run from start first google sheet then filter filter gave me two data great now if i run the loop it should run twice so see we get some data for the first iteration loop branch one item okay after that i can go to the gmail from the loop every loop give me the new entry i have the email i can put it like this and then i can say your n8 n n8 n workflow for and like this for google form obviously now what i'm going to do it's going to be the email find the uh, json workflow in attachment and then i'm going to add a new attachment attachment is going to come from the google drive downloaded file we will do that later for now let's test this out if i click on test you can see it says email sent so let's go here and you can see now we have the find the json in the attachment cool so here we have the email and now we can loop through the email that means if i run if i delete this and now i'm going to run this text workflow once again entire flow it should send two email for me and now you can see i have now you can see i have two email one for google form automation and another for linkedin automation great now what next it's going to be very very simple because now i'm going to do simple thing is i'm going to add two fields here two node here one is google drive and this is going to find a file so find a file is uh, like how we can search file folder yeah here we go search file and folder and on our google drive i want to search or find on folder by a pattern basically a file name so here we have the workflow name which user want and dot json and that's why i ask you to have a proper correct the naming convention of this um, option so that we can just append dot json and it will become the file for us so run this and you can see we have the google form dot json because this comes for the first iteration on the second iteration it will get the linkedin so here we have the id now once we know the id of the file we have once again we will go to the drive and this time i will download that file so download file by id and remember we have to connect the account once again go to the console create the uh, enable the google drive api and remember we can use the same um, credentials for every google thing just enable the api so i'll say download file here okay so if i click on test step this is going to execute the node and yes we have this json file great now since we have the json file we can go to the gmail and now since we have added two node in between the loop and the gmail it's breaking because now we need to go to the schema and we need the email from loop so you can see now it says loop over item because there are many node between that we need to get the information from a specific node so once again like this and cool everything is good now add the attachment and attachment is added file name should be the data for that what we can do get back to the download part download file google drive node add put file into a field called data and that field the data field we are going to attach on the gmail part okay once again let's test this out okay it's running and we should have the 
email yes but this time with the json file we want that's really nice i don't want this this email what send with any and automation here i'm going to say add option append any and attribution disable it and that's it okay our workflow looks good so i can say just command a right click on any node tied it up to have a proper alignment one final thing we need to do but before that let's run this entire workflow test the workflow and it's doing things downloading the file sending the email once again downloading the file sending the email so this time we should have again two email one for google form automation second for linkedin automation so let's see yes we have the google form attached here and linkedin attached here okay that's so nice but what we want we don't want to send the email to the users which already got the email so we need to update this google sheet finally at the last after sending the gmail i say once again sheet and this time i want to update row on the update row once again we can reuse the account we have added again it's very simple go to your console and then do all that stuff now here on the document we can select which document this is the n8n and now from the sheet remember the sheet is going to be the form response one now we need to actually uh, update one specific column so what we can do is we can choose map um, manually or automatically i believe it's going to yeah this one so column manually and now i don't want timestamp not the email not name not this just the send email and turn it to yes and which way i will decide that which row to update like here if i go which one i need to update which row so here i can say match the column with timestamp and now we can see on our um, on our google sheet trigger we have the timestamp so we can drag it here and now we have the timestamp which we want to update for okay so this is good now test it out so click on test step and it's going to execute the previous node and finally executing the node and you can see now we have the yes inside this that's really really nice and if i reload the gmail i can see that yeah email was sent so that's really powerful thing we have filter and now in this filter you can see why we have yes on the filter because i don't want the uh, entries which is yes to be triggered let's execute the full entire workflow once again it's getting the thing looping over downloading files sending the email updating the sheet and this is only once because we have one entry checking the sheet yes is there on the gmail we have the new uh, email which is really nice for the linkedin automation that's cool and now what we have is the entire workflow ready that's powerful thing this is really really nice and this is how you know that if you fill a google form and you get the json file how actually it is working what is the automation running behind the form filling so that's why you need to fill the form to get this automation or maybe more automation i will going to share in the future so this any and that is powerful thing which you need to must learn and i am here to tell you what to do and what not if you have anything else you want me to uh, create video on for any then just uh, comment below and let me know which kind of automation you really really want to have and uh, that's how we together going to learn the n8n which is again my favorite thing for last one month so i'm telling you once again if you want this workflow to use for yourself find the google form link in the description which you can fill out and you will going to get the json form of your workflow you can import it and start using it that's really great and if you like this video please don't forget to share with your friends hit subscribe and don't forget to like this video because this is ai want and i also want see you in the next video till then goodbye